So we're going to taste their gold dishes first. Two pasta dishes, two vonglais dishes. The boys have gone with a the gold theme through their, their beautiful gold sauce, and the girls have done the bataga, which you know, turns everything gold. They both look gold to me. Look at the boys' pasta. It's like wafer thin yeah. compared to the girls. Like, I'm super excited about trying this. Let's try the tatalias first. Thank you. That's perfect, just like that. This is a fantastic bit of oh, pasta. Yeah. This is the best pasta I've tried on the show. And the vongole is perfectly cooked. That is a cracking dish. You know what? It's the seasoning they get so right on this. The pasta, as we know, is beautiful. It looks beautiful. It tastes beautiful. And it's that sauce that is made with all the juices that makes it from a normal dish into a great dish. What a great start to the finale. <laughs> Let's try the Giles' dish. It's a very different pasta to what we just tried. It's a good plate of pasta, but not an exceptional plate of pasta. It is a little bit more coarse than the Tartaglia's version. Um, it's got flavour, yeah. but it just doesn't have that silken beauty that the Tartaglia's pasta had. I think the Vongole are cooked absolutely perfectly. It, to me, it's a little bit too oily. Now, maybe the Bataga should have been grated over the top raw, but it's mixed in with the oil and it's greasy. So that's one tasting down. Now it's time to move on to unforgettable. Tatali is traditional Italian porchetta from the Giles family, Burmese Thai curry. The Giles's curry just looks beautiful and elegant with all the little bits on the side. And this porchetta, it's such a shame when they've cut it that they actually didn't keep it in the beautiful round circle that it should have been giblets and the heart and it's they're just they're two bigger pieces it's not the most elegant looking dish it, it, it sort of has the feeling of, of the offcuts of the slaughterhouse I love the pork perfectly cooked and beautiful crackling <laughs> Pork's beautiful. It's got so many spices in there. It's really flavoursome. You can see why that's a family recipe, that pork, yeah. isn't it? Really, yeah. pork jetta at its best. It is an unforgettable story when you talk about it being handed down from generation to generation. You know, it's something that I'm, I'm going to remember. It's generous. The crackling's there. The meat's cooked well, but all the offal's falling out. It lacks finesse. I think we should try the Giles' Burmese curry. I have to say, the smell coming from that curry, oh, my God. You know, my mother always told me never to use my fingers, but I think in this case, we have to. And that's how you eat it. Mm. It's complex. It's rich, it's balanced. Everything you want in a Burmese curry, this is what I've been waiting for the whole of this competition. Just all those flavours, isn't it? You know, from the you know, sticky rice to obviously the curry. How yummy is that? And that pork belly just dissolves in your mouth. It is absolutely beautiful and tender and, and wow. I'm not going to forget about that in a long time. The Tatali's pork versus the Giles pork. I think we've got a clear winner on that one. I think now it's pretty much... We are neck, neck and neck. neck, neck. And, neck. and Anna, it's it all comes dessert. down to... Blah, 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 dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I love the stories, you know, when it comes to family. Tatalia's dessert, Italian, tiramisu, you know, they always have it at the end of the night. And the Giles girls, you know, they used to have that as a birthday cake, and it's all about family. Let's try the Giles's. There's no question 
That is so moist. Oh. Wow. Isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Although it's a family dish and it reminds you of childhood, it's also quite adult. It's got a slight bitter edge in the cake. It's not oversweet. They know when to stop with the sweetness. Yeah. That Guinness just stops everything. And that ice cream, wow. That is just such a beautiful, moist, rich chocolate cake with a, a beautiful malt ice cream and, and a perfect chocolate ganache sauce. There's a purpose for everything there, and it's funny how we were all fighting over the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, the ice cream. You know, they churned that ice cream perfectly well. There's a beautiful flavouring there. This is a smashing dessert. Guys, honestly, this is the best Giles Sisters dish I've tasted throughout the whole competition. Wow. Hands down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> for the final time, this is it. This is the last tasting. Tatalia's dessert, their version, of a tiramisu. The elements of it, it looks really good. I haven't seen a tiramisu like that before. No. There's definitely some layers in there, but that's a really firm gel. It's got gelatin in the coffee and it's set rock hard, but I just taste a little bit on my finger and <laughs> it tastes great. <laughs> That mousse is just perfect. The chocolate tempered. You know, it's got a crack. And that's exactly what we want. I just absolutely love the chocolate mousse. I, I think it's beautiful. It's silky, it's smooth, and it works really well with the mascarpone coffee ice cream. The idea was very smart. That is a, a very different take on tiramisu, but it's one of the best takes on tiramisu.